Two years after opposition leader Kem Sakar was arrested, jailed and then placed under house arrest, a Cambodian court has released him. His daughter, who's also an influential member of the banned opposition Cambodia National Rescue Party, hopes this is just the first step. I hope that the charge against him will be dropped and I hope that his political rights along with the political rights of my colleagues and myself will be reinstated and there would be negotiation between the two parties to reinstate, for example, the um, space for um, me media rights, space for civil society and reinstate a real opposition party back. Sakar is still subject to severe restrictions and the treason case against him stands. We still have questions about certain things mentioned in the court order, and we will ask the court for clarification, such as what limitations are there on his freedom, what are the limitations on his political freedom, can he meet his supporters, what degree of freedom does he have to meet with his supporters. Analysts say Sukar's release is a tactical move by the Cambodian government. It comes a day after Sam Rainsy, who co-founded the opposition party with Sakar, arrived in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur from self-imposed exile in France. He says he'll return to Cambodia to challenge Prime Minister Hun Sen, who's ruled for more than three decades. And on Tuesday, the European Union will publish a report on the decline in democracy and human rights in the country. It's threatened to withdraw Cambodia's tariff-free status on goods entering the EU. Oh, Hun Sen is uh, facing a very, very serious situation. He uh, is looking at uh, the potentially damaging uh, uh, actions by the EU against uh, the major industry in the country, the, the garment industry. And he has to now step up and uh, show that he's prepared to make some compromises on human rights issues if he wants to maintain that uh, very important EU economic status. Hun Sen controls the National Assembly as well as the police, the army, the courts and the media. He's ordered the arrest of dozens of opposition activists in the last few months. This is the home of Kem Sakar, where he's been detained for more than a year. One of the demands of the European Union is that not only should he be freed from house arrest, but the charges against him should be dropped. That hasn't happened. He's still awaiting trial. So while this is being seen as a small step in the right direction, the opposition knows that little has changed. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.